Yeah. Here's the, um, okay, so check this out. So here's the iris. You see these little things here, these little curly Q thingies? Remember we have this thing called the suspensory ligaments or suspensory body, I don't know what it's called. So this big thing right here is the ciliary body because there's the iris. This is the ciliary body. And these little guys kind of right here, they're actually called the ciliary, they're actually called the ciliary processes. And what's attached to them are the little ligaments that you can't see. So iris, ciliary body. And remember, the ciliary body is the anterior projection of what's known as what's called the vascular tunic. So if we follow this down in this direction, you see it gets much thinner. And I'll try to find a good layer for you. Uh, well, about right here is probably work. So let's look at this under higher magnification. But so so this is this is this big posterior chamber of the eye where all the vitreous humor is, right? This is going to turn in to the neural tunic, but this far forward in the eye, you don't have any rods and cones because you can't see anything that far forward. But this is the sclera right here, and this layer, which is kind of black looking right here, that's actually the vascular layer. The vascular layer, as it goes to the front of the eye, and we'll do it one more time, as you go this direction, see it starts to get thicker and becomes the ciliary body. Right? But let's look further back in the eye so you can see what it looks like. So if we go back a little further, let's find a nice spot like right, no, this will work, right here. And go to higher magnification. Alright. So So, now, this layer right here, from where my pointer is to right here, and we'll look at this in a better picture in a minute, this is the neural layer. These are the rods and cones and stuff. This layer here that's all kind of broken up and black looking, right, that's the vascular layer. This is the choroid. This is where the blood vessels are. And it always looks like this. And then this thicker layer on the outside, that's the fibrous tunic. That's the, the sclera. This is the connective tissue, basically. So this big, thick layer is the sclera. Then this is the choroid, or the vascular tunic. And then this is the neural tunic. So you've got one, two, three layers right, in the eyeball. But let me, let me just keep going. You know, look, maybe look a little better back here. So let's look at it from this point of view now. So here's the sclera. Right, but this might be so far back in your eyeball you would never see it. Unless you took your eyeball and then look, see, and popped your eyeball out, which freaks me out. This is, this is the vascular in through here, and then from here on out, this is the neural. This is where the rods and cones and all that sort of stuff are found. So let's, let's do one final look here at the rods and cones. And we'll go back down here to find them in a nice discreet package. I've never been able to find the, the blind spot on any of these slides where the optic nerve actually leaves the back of the eyeball. It would be cool if we could find it. But you go, go ahead. What's your question? Oh, I was going to ask. Um, if we put uh, retina? Retina. Yeah. yeah. Except for this. Okay. So let's do this. So from here to here, all of this is the neural tunic. Here to here. This is the vascular tunic right here. And this is the fibrous tunic right here. So you can see all three layers. But what I want to show you, and you have to use high power, is I want to show you I want to show you one I want to show you what this looks like, the neural tunic and high power. Because you've got to be able to distinguish the pigment layer, the layer of rods and cones, the layer of bipolar cells, and the ganglionic layer. But you need a little higher power to see it. But let me give you just a general idea of what we're going to be looking at can see that right along where my, my pointer is kind of showing, and there's kind of a little almost brownish layer right at the end of my laser pointer right there. That layer kind of right along there, it's sort of very faint brownish, not, not here, but just above it, right there. That's the pigment layer, and that's part of the neural tunic. So that's the pigment layer. And then from the pigment, so this layer right here, you see how you got all this really deep colored stuff in here? So from like here to here, where my pointer is now, this is the layer of rods and cones. These are your, you know, your, your photoreceptors. So the rods and cones are right through here. And then this layer right here is the layer of the bipolar neurons, 
right here. And then finally, this layer right here is the layer called the ganglionic layer, or ganglionic cells. So there's four distinct layers in the retina. So, and so fibrous tuning, vascular tuning, neural tuning, pigment layer, rods and cones, bipolar cells, uh, ganglionic cells. Now this is what they look like under the highest power. Okay, this is it. All right, so let me just move this just a tad. And that's about as good as we're going to get. Okay, so, all right. Little brown layer right here, right? That's the pigment layer. Right? It doesn't have anything to do with the color of your eyes, but they call it the pigment layer. Because right? you think everybody has brown eyes. So this is the pigment layer. From here to here, this whole layer here, these are the actual rods and cones. I know you can't tell a rod from a cone, and that's fine. We don't need to, right? But this is the layer here, and it, you know, of all of it down here. This is the, the rods and cones. This layer right here, where the cells are kind of, I don't know, a little different, kind of roundish, maybe anywhere right in through here. This is bipolar cells, and then this final top layer out here, you kind of see the pointers in it right here. This is a layer called the ganglionic layer. So what happens is the ganglionic layer, excuse me, the ganglionic layer all kind of eventually all sort of kind of comes together and forms the optic nerve. And that leaves the back of the eye, and that forms that structure called the blind spot. These slides don't show the fovea centralis or any of that sort of stuff. Um, but, but anyway, you, you, you might have heard of a disease. It tends to be in older individuals called macular degeneration, or uh, it, that results in blindness. It's, it's caused by degeneration of, of the macula, macula lutea in the back of the eye. So that's those layers. Let's go back one power.